Good afternoon. Uh, I'm Eugene Flanagan, Director of General and International Collections here at the Library of Congress, and it's my great uh, good pleasure to welcome you all here today. And we're very delighted to have Our Excellency uh, Sheikh Ame bin Mohammed Al Khalifa uh, here with us talking on the theme of investing in culture. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Her Excellency uh, is President of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities. She held several cabinet positions before that in the administration, including Minister of Culture from 2010 to 2015 in the past two decades. Sheikh May has spearheaded national efforts, including her Invest in Culture initiative to develop a sustainable cultural infrastructure in the Kingdom of Bahrain. As the oldest federal cultural institution in the United States, the Library of Congress is a fitting location for moments of cultural diplomacy such as today's. We are the world's largest library with more than 170 million items in our collections in some 470 languages in many formats including books, manuscripts, newspapers, periodicals, maps, photographs, prints, posters, recorded sound, uh, sheet music, microphone, it sort of goes on, and similarly broad in scope, uh, the collection's geographic coverage extends across all continents, uh, including uh, the Americas, Europe, Africa, the Middle East, and Central Asia, uh, to the rest of the Asian continent uh, and Oceania. And that's why the door is always open and a welcome always re ready for visitors from across the world. The Near East collection alone contains more than 600,000 items in 40 languages. And following the lecture, we will have an opportunity to see a special selection of some of these materials with reference to Bahrain. Dr. Mohanna Sali, her Arab World Specialist in the African and Middle Eastern Division, will be on hand to talk about the display. But right now, I'm going to ask him to come up uh, because he's going to start the program proper and introduce Her Excellency. Thank you. Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for joining us in what promises to be a very interesting lecture on Bahrain. Um, now the obligatory plug, let me talk about uh, our division. Uh, the African Middle, Middle Eastern Division, which is sponsoring this talk, uh, is composed of three sections. There's the African section, which deals with Sub-Saharan Africa. There's the uh, Hebraic section, which deals with Hebraic and Judaica worldwide. And then there's the Near East section. Uh, the Near East section covers everything from Kazan in the north to Khartoum in the south, Kaz uh, Kashgar in the east to Casablanca in the west. Um, as Dr. Uh, Eugene Flanagan just mentioned, we have large collections in about 30, uh, 38 to 40 languages. Um, in the Near East section, the largest collection is the Arabic collection, which is about three to four hundred, uh, three hundred thousand uh, volumes. And then there is the Persian collection, which is about sixty to seventy thousand. The uh, Turkish collection, which is about fifty to sixty thousand. And then we collect in all other uh, languages as as much as is uh, published by these countries. For example, we collect in uh, Kurdish, in Amazigh, and various other languages. Um, the uh, Bahraini Authority for Culture and Antiquities was generous enough to donate a large number of their uh, publications to us, and a large number of these publications, about half, are from our own collections. This is a small uh, sampling of what we have on, uh, on Bahrain. Uh, speaking of generous donations, Her Excellency would like to donate some of her own personal uh, books, books that she authored, uh, to the Library of Congress.
Now for a few words about uh, Her Excellency, our speaker, Her Excellency Sheikh Hamaid bin Muhammad Al Khalifa. Uh, aside from authoring uh, six books uh, herself, she's been a leading figure in the Arab world for her work in the field of culture. Her Excellency Sheikh Hamaid bin Muhammad Al Khalifa has championed a number of innovative initiatives uh, in various cultural and artistic pursuits. Uh, aimed at fostering and promoting local arts and culture and spearheaded national efforts to develop a sustainable cultural infrastructure in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Uh, in 2006, she launched an overarching Investing in Culture, an unprecedented initiative in the, in the region to cultivate uh, active partnerships between the private and public sectors and to invest in, the cult in cultural projects. Her vision and leadership have resulted in a worldwide recognition of the kingdom's historic and cultural significance. During her tenure, two archaeological sites and one historic site was inscribed on the UNESCO World Heritage. Uh, Sheikh Hamay held several positions at the head of the cultural authorities and was appointed the first minister of culture between 2010 and 2015. Uh, she is currently the president of the Bahrain Authority for Cultural and, uh, Culture and Antiquities, the chairperson of the board of the Arab Regional Center for World Heritage. Uh, Sheikh Hamay is also the founder and chairperson of the board of trustees of the Sheikh Ibrahim bin Muhammad Al Khalifa Center for Culture and Research, a nonprofit organization uh, meant with the conservation and preservation of local arts and architecture. Uh, Sheikh Hamay holds an MA in political history and is the author of seven books. She is a recipient of many distinguished awards, including the Légion d'honneur uh, in 2008, the Knight of the Légion d'honneur from the French government in 2012, noble honor for being distinguished, uh, for being a distinguished international personality in the field of ideology and culture by a royal decree from His Majesty Mohammed the Saddis, King of Morocco in 2010. She's also received the Colbert Prize for Creative, uh, Creativity and Heritage and Watch Award by the World Monuments Fund in 2015. She has also been nominated Special Ambassador of the International Year of Sustainability for Development uh, in 2017 uh, by World Tourism Organization and Arab Heritage Personality of 2019 uh, by the Tourism and Media Center uh, Tourism and Media Center. Now, without further ado, Her Excellency uh, Sheikh Hamay bin Muhammad Al Khalifa. Sabah al Khair, Jamian. Sabah al Noor, wa Surur, wa Rahla fil Bahrain. Good morning, Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen, Distinguished Guests. Allow me first to thank the Library of Congress for hosting me today. It's an honor and a great pleasure to be here and have the opportunity to present Bahrain's approach of cultural preservation and share our experience towards building a sustainable cultural infrastructure. No one can deny today the importance of culture in supporting sustainable development. I think this is a fact. <coughs> Case study around the world have established that culture is a driving force and powerful means to revive the economies of cities by stimulating urban development, generating new jobs, and attracting investors. This is very important for me to attract the investor to support the cultural field. More cities now focused on exploring different create creative models to build or enhance their cultural infrastructure and cultivate the benefit of cultural tourism and its impact on the large development of the country. In that context, the Kingdom of Bahrain represent an interesting case study in the region that has witnessed a dramatic cultural boom in the past 10 years and mainly the creation of major projects as a means to redefine their urban image. Despite its small geographic area, Bahrain has largely invested in building its cultural infrastructure. 
highlighting what we consider the country main asset, cultural heritage. While many may know the Kingdom of Bahrain as a financial harbor and a gateway of GCT market, if you, if you are aware of its millennium old heritage and rich culture. I, I always want to focus on the cultural side and pass the right message about Bahrain, although it's very small, but we always keep telling that it's rich in culture. Bahrain has always attracted the attention of travelers with its natural beauty, rich archaeological landscape, and fascinating bears. I'm sorry, Sheikh, I need to interrupt you. We already have a technical problem, Dr. Okay. Thank you. Halas. Done. Thank you very much, Doctor. Due to, the, to its uh, strategic location, linking Mesopotamia to the Indus Valley, it's a pleasant climate, of course, except summer. Avoid visiting Bahrain in summer. <laughs> July and August, it's very uh, harsh. Abundance of the sweet water, abundance of, uh, of sweet water and wealth of pearling fisheries, the island of Bahrain was settled around 4,500 BC and became, by 2000 BC, a major marketplace. It was home to the, to the civilization of Dilmun, the most important civilization in the Arabian Gulf, from the third to the first millennium BC, and was described in ancient texts as the land of immortality and abundance. The island flourished th uh, through the ages as a main harbor, we always said that Bahrain is ancient harbor and became one of the major pearling uh, centers in the Arabian Gulf. Actually, up until the early 30s, they discovered the oil in uh, 1932. The economy of Bahrain was largely based on pearling and related activities. The discovery of oil introduced major change and led to some significant urban and cultural developments. But despite the, moderni the modernization of Bahrain, the country, local heritage, and cultural traditions were grounded and investing in the cultural infrastructure was going hand in hand with the development of the state. Allow me here to bring to your attention that Bahrain is known for being pioneer in the Arabian Gulf for many cultural initiatives including the establishment of the formal education system in 1899 with the support of the American mission. And all, I always like to say the American school started with a class for girls before boys in Bahrain <laughs> 120 years ago. To name only a few milestones, the first school, official school opened in Bahrain in 1919, the first literary club was established in 1920. The first magazine was issued in 1939 by Abdullah Zaid. He's a famous writer and poet, and he was the only editor for the whole magazine. Uh, the first archaeology exhibition was held in 1956. The Department, the Department of Antiquities was established in 1970. The annual fine art exhibition was showed showcase in 1972 and continue until now as, uh, as annual art exhibition. Bahrain National Museum opened in 1988 as the first in the region with international standard. What I want to convey here is that Bahrain investing in cultural infrastructure is not a new concept. And the, uh, the protection and preservation of the country culture heritage has always been one of the government main priority. Over the years, the Bahrain, the Bahrain Cultural Authority grew into a vibrant sector that has focused on fostering innovation and creativity, highlighting diversity, and empowering local communities. In particular, we have a long-term strategy that aim at building a sustainable cultural infrastructure. Our integrated approach to cultural preservation has resulted 
and the protection of historical and archaeological site, protection of uh, local and tangible heritage, the recreation of historic district, the creation of network of museum and visitor center. And thanks to Dr. Nadine, she always support in this field. She's our advisor for museum and archaeology. Thank you again, Dr. Nadine. As well as inscription of the three Bahraini site on the UNESCO World Heritage List. I think Bahrain uh, site, Bahrain fort, was inscribed in 2005. And uh, we consider the site as the most important as ancient harbor. The, the second one, the capital of Dilmun. The second one, the Perling Bath, also it's very important project. The third one we celebrate this year, the burial mound. The third site listed in the World Heritage. And in the process, there is another three coming soon. And today, we celebrate another international recognition for our work in the historic city of Muharraq, the second main island of Bahrain, and its previous political capital, as we have just officially received last week the 2019 Aga Khan Award for Architecture for the city of Muharraq. The project <laughs> It's always nice to focus on the old cities because the old city has the soul and you know I believe that investing in the old city is more important than the new project. So thanks to Aga Khan to focus on that and give us the credit for Sheikh Ibrahim and uh, the Berling Bath. The project include, includes the UNESCO World Heritage Berling Bath and the historic houses of the Sheikh Ibrahim bin Mohammed Al Khalifa Center for Culture and Research. The center is a non-profit organization that I founded in 2002 to encourage dialogue and preservation, local art and architecture. But this work would not have been possible without the great support of the private sector. So thanks to everybody who support this project. A lot of them, they believe in our mission and they support a lot. Because of the limited, limited budget and the government structure, I introduced the Investing in Culture initiative for public sector, drawing on my personal experience with Sheikh Ibrahim Center, where I established this initiative in 2006. The Investing in Culture is an active partnership between the private and public sector, which basically encourages, encourages the private sector to invest in Bahrain cultural projects. But in addition, to funds, it was very important for us that our partner believe in the importance of this cultural heritage in order to take part in preservation. Our responsibility as a cultural authority is to raise awareness, establish connections, encourage dialogue. This is how we can serve our community better. This is how we can allow a rich cultural environment to flourish. So this partnership has allowed to raise awareness about the importance of the cultural heritage as an essential part of our life. Through the Investing in Culture platform, a number of important projects have been completed and others are waiting for funding. We'll start with the first one, the Bahrain National Theater sponsor or, uh, you know, it, it was a gift by His Majesty uh, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for Manama. Manama was the capital of uh, Arab uh, culture, 2012, and we managed to finish the project in two years only. The second one, the archaeology of uh, Green, is our pavilion. We, we participate in the Milan, uh, Milan Expo, and we win the second prize for architecture, and we managed to shift the whole pavilion to Maharraq. Sheikh Abdullah, you have to visit the pavilion. And uh, also, shifting the pavilion was not easy. With the support of Her Royal Highness uh, Sheikh Sabicha, Princess Sabicha, we managed to bring the pavilion to Bahrain. Al-At al-Bahrain, the site museum of Bahrain Fort, sponsored by Arkabita Bank, the generous bank, they always support us in my own initiative in Sheikh Ibrahim and in the uh, official sector. 
هي رفاع سايت ميوزيوم also with the support of the private sector البركة بنك and a lot of people who believe in our mission we manage to الخميس موسك visitor center is sponsored also by his royal highness prince سلمان بن حمد الخليفة and it was open in 2015 Berling Bar Visitor Center is one of the Mark Land in Muharraq. Uh, you know, this, this building changed the whole area because it's a large building and it's done by a very famous uh, architect. He's from Switzerland. Valerio did a great job for Muharraq. Future project, I'm looking for a sponsor, new sponsor. <laughs> if there is anyone, please don't hesitate to ask any question about the budget or location or the mission of this uh, project. One of them is to Dow and Do Museum. It's a dream to build a site museum for SAR settlement. And I mentioned to Her Excellency about, uh, about the project because you, both of you lived in SAR years ago. And always nice to see our friend again. In SAR settlement, uh, we want to, to build a site museum and on the other hand, a permanent regional center. We establish in Bahrain a regional center, support all the Arab region. Uh, and uh, I think this, uh, this will be on the track soon. The support will come from Kuwait, from uh, His Highness the Emir of Kuwait. A good news. Children Museum looking for a sponsor and Zaha Hadid. It's a very important project. I hope we will find, uh, you know, we need only $100 million <laughs> to build this one. So if anybody wants to participate, most will come. Future project again, uh, Barbar Temple, a visitor center, also interesting project. And this will cost only a very limited uh, budget. So uh, $10,000 million will be OK for this project. <laughs> Here, uh, Maharraq City, where we start in Sheikh Ibrahim, and then the Berling Bath and uh, uh, it's, it's something interesting, and the public space in Muharraq now, we finish almost 17 public space. Also with the support of Islamic Bank from Jeddah, we managed to survive and continue. Darul Muharraq also with the support of Alba for traditional music. Every Saturday you can enjoy the traditional jury music something really interesting and I'm planning to bring the group to, uh, to Washington as I promised His Excellency Sheikh Abdullah to bring them next year, I hope. Here I'll know the house, one of the Perling Bath, but this project is sponsored by Sheikh Ibrahim Center and uh, it was the first, I mean, between the rest of the houses, the rest is in the process now. Here, Sheikh Ibrahim Center, for culture and research, where I started. And from this center, it slid to the official department. I didn't think that I will join the government for official uh, mission. But uh, I, when I started the project, it attracted a lot of people. And I end up with a bigger resp responsib responsibility for uh, historical site in Bahrain. Here, search uh, center part of Sheikh Ibrahim, also sponsored by the Emir of Kuwait. It's an amazing building done by a Japanese architect, Atelier Bauhaus. They are famous for a special building. And you have yes, some more photos. You end with? Akra, the library for kids. Where is it? Uh, Akra, it's next to it. Akra, you can read it. Akra, it means read. It's a children library. The library opened in 2006 in Muharraq, and we have another one in a village of Bahrain in Malchia, the second, uh, the second Akra. And I'm planning to extend more and have more Akra. It's a must for children. Here, Al Zayed House, I mentioned that he published the first newspaper in Bahrain. It's one of the original houses. And it's beautiful. So please, I hope it will encourage you to visit Bahrain and, thank, and, and visit those houses. Here, part of Sheikh Ibrahim Center, uh, the, original, the, the original house. And here, the house of architecture. We arranged some exhibition for uh, architecture and preservation in this house.
The investing in culture has been success, and our fundraising has expanded over the years to include banks, uh, banks, private companies, official, and individual, and even, as I mentioned, some of neighbor, uh, neighboring countries who wanted to be part of this urban regeneration. Since, uh, since its launch, we have raised around uh, 145 million US dollar. It's a little for us, we need some more. <laughs> that, uh, that we're invested in various cultural projects that have transformed the cultural and urban landscape, boosting cultural tourism, created a new jobs opportunity, generated revenue, and raised the profile of the Kingdom of Bahrain as a hub for cultural activities within the region. Above all, investing in culture has respected local culture and diversity of the Bahraini community, which is the only guarantee to ensure that the, de the development is uh, relevant and hence sustainable. Many thanks to all of you for your kind attention. And I would like to end with a film about Sheikh Ibrahim Center. After that, if you have any question, don't hesitate to ask. Thank you very much. مركز الشيخ إبراهيم بن محمد آل خليفة للثقافة والبحوث نحتفل بخمسة عشر عاماً خمسة وعشرين منجزاً وخمسة قادمة افتتح في الثاني عشر من يناير عام الفين واثنين كي يعيد الدور الذي أداه مجلس الشيخ إبراهيم امتداداً لرسالة التنوير الذي آمن به المركز وعبر مواسم فصلية أصبح ملتقا أسبوعيا للمهتمين بالفكر والثقافة والفنون مركز الشيخ إبراهيم بمدينة المحرق مملكة البحرين Thank you, Your Excellency, for such a wonderful presentation. Uh, we have a few minutes for a couple of questions. Anybody? No? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so uh, we would strongly encourage you to take a look at the display we've, uh, we have for you. And also, I want to urge you to come to the African Middle Eastern Division. <coughs> Anybody interested in the Arab world, uh, Iranica, Turkica, we'll be happy to help you. We have a lovely new reading room on the second floor. So please, um, we thank uh, Her Excellency, and I encourage you again to look at our collections. <laughs>